Anybody here send out like email newsletters to your customers or prospective customers? A few people do. Everybody should. Right? Everybody, right? It's, it's, it's an inexpensive thing to do. When you email people, it's got to be opt-in, right? People are very, very ornery about that. We know that. So you have to have a process for people to be opting in and getting their permission. A form they fill out on your website or some type of documented process, right? Number two, when you're sending out email to people, no more than three items on an email. That's like the rule from email marketers. Three items on an email. And it should all be above the fold. In other words, like when you're previewing an email or seeing like that first screen, you should see what those items are, right? And it should not be, just like Tiffany was explaining before, it should not be like, you know, oh, buy my product, buy my product, buy my product. That is not the point of her email. It's to give good information. So think about all the different companies, the business that you're in, the, how you could be helping your customers or your community with good information for them to be, for, for them to think well of you, right? And in addition to that, when you're sending out emails, the best time to send out an email newsletter to a bunch of people is between 10 a.m. and 3 o'clock Eastern time during the day because there have been hundreds of millions of dollars spent at university studies around the world, and they have all concluded that most people are asleep between midnight and 6 a.m. So because of that, the conclusion is that if you send out an email between 10 a.m. and 3 o'clock, that's when you're actually hitting the most people. And think about yourselves when you're at work or whatever. You're actually getting them when you get up in the morning, whatever came in overnight. You're paying that much less attention. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are the three best days of the week that are pretty much equal. Mondays and Fridays are just not. People that are succeeding with emails don't just have a list of people that they're sending an email out to. It used to be five, six years ago, I'm going to blast out my email to my database, right? Do not blast out emails to your databases. If you know, if you're doing it the right way, you should have five databases, six databases, right? You should have emails targeted to the audience that really want to read your emails. So if you're selling three or four different types of products or services, you might have three or four email newsletters. So if you've got three or four or five different lists, because these people are looking for different content, and by the way, there might be just 50 people on a list. You don't have to have 5,000 people on a list for it to be good because if 4,500 aren't even reading your email, it's a bad list. Okay, So you want to just send it out to people that are going to actually care about that reading that email. And there might be some lists that might want to hear from you every week. And there might be some people on that list that only want to hear from you twice a year.